So we all know how food is grown currently. It's grown in a field far away by someone you don't know. Let's call him Farmer Joe. Farmer Joe may live in the U.S. or Canada or Central America for all we know, but statistically speaking, he's a long ways away. Let's say Farmer Joe grows lettuce. When it comes time for harvest, Joe pays a lot of money to have his produce cut and taken somewhere nearby where it's packaged. Once it's here, more people handle the lettuce, rinse it, bundle it, and package it, increasing its value but also increasing the cost of that lettuce significantly. Once it's packaged, the lettuce is sent to a wholesale terminal where it's sold to a distributor. The distributor takes this produce and ships it to a distribution center where it will be handled again and sent to an individual store or supermarket where it may be bought by a customer. This is kind of a long and cumbersome process, but by the end of it, a lot of money has been spent moving around what is essentially water. To make things worse, the nutritional density of the food is dropped in transit, and a significant portion of that lettuce is spoiled. If we trace back all of the investment, all of the handling, all of the diesel fuel required to get that head of lettuce from Farmer Joe to the customer, it ends up being quite a bit. Actually, around 60% of the total cost of that head of lettuce. Crazy, right? Most of the money you spend on that lettuce doesn't actually go to Farmer Joe. It goes to labor and plastic packaging and refrigeration and gasoline and, well, you get the idea. That's not where I want my food money to go. So, let's imagine another scenario. One where really great things are being grown by Farmer Joe in these nifty towers. High dollar crops that really can't be handled very well. Crops that don't like to be shipped. Crops like lettuce and mustard greens and fresh herbs. In this scenario, Farmer Joe probably isn't out in the middle of nowhere. He's probably somewhere near a city full of hungry people who really want to buy Farmer Joe's produce. Heck, maybe Farmer Joe is even in the city. How's that for crazy ideas? In this new reality, Farmer Joe doesn't have to invest so much money in labor and doesn't have to send his produce to be packed. In this reality, there are no big distribution chains and the food doesn't spend days or even weeks packed in plastic rattling around in the back of a truck. Instead, Farmer Joe just takes his towers, gives them a rinse, and puts them on a delivery truck. In this reality, the towers go to several places once they're on that truck. The first batch of towers goes into a couple of grocery stores where people get to pick the produce they want from a display, taking home freshly harvested, nutrient-dense, flavorful food. The second batch goes to restaurants that pay Joe for lush towers of living produce. These restaurants either cut what they want for the day, put the towers in special displays, or put them in their coolers, where the produce will stay alive and fresh until it's needed in the kitchen. The last batch goes to the coolest place, a place that all of us know well. The remaining towers go directly into people's kitchens and homes, fitting into these really cool reservoirs that a lot of thoughtful people help fund on Kickstarter. You see, while the kits that people bought were useful and wonderful and allowed people to garden and grow, they also allowed small farmers like Joe to meet the needs in his community, needs that his community didn't even know they had. Because of the response of people who bought into this vision for the future, a new model of production and distribution can be built. One where produce costs less but tastes better. One where Farmer Joe gets more money for his crops and that money stays in his community. This is a future where the centers of production and the centers of consumption are not so clearly defined. If you showed Joe what his production might look like in a few years, he might not be too surprised. After all, farmers are well acquainted with the changing seasons and with seeds. Farmers understand that all good things grow from a seed, sometimes slowly, sometimes quickly, but they always grow. We want to thank you for partnering with us in growing the seed of an idea. Your support will help this idea grow up. Kickstarter is just the beginning. This is going to be big.